Stanley Bedrock Type 6. Doesn't look that much better. Good. Not so good. Good. In the game I played. Mm-hmm. 
So there you have it. Now this doesn't look a whole lot different than it did before. And I really wanted to show the historical restoration. In other words, I'm not going to be doing anything to this. I'm just going to be cleaning it, getting all the junk and things off it, cleaning up any rust spots and making it showable because this plane actually has some collectible value to it. Now, most of the restoration videos I've done, and there are probably about a hundred or so on this channel and the other one, is that I, I take a tool that is relatively common and turn it into a usable tool, something that is for me. And that's why my planes, a lot of them are painted blue because that makes me happy. It is my plane, I'm going to be using it. And so I don't really care about its collectible value. For something like this, I may care about its collectible value, but I may want it to be usable. So I'm gonna actually restore it, but not hurt any of the collectability. Sharpen up the blade, and now it's a usable plane that still retains its value. So there's that whole balance between, do you want the plane to have its value and its collectability, or do you want this to be something that is fun for you, very usable? Because if I really wanted to make this usable, I'd probably flatten the sole. There's a little bit of dip by the mouth. I'd probably shine up the lever cap. I might get a new iron for it. But doing those things would drop the value of this in its collectability. So that's kind of one of the things you have to ask yourself. Are you looking for the collectability? or are you looking for a plane that is fun for you? So I hope this helped you out a little bit and showed you some of the, uh, the little things that make it a little bit different from restoring a collectible plane to restoring a plane for yourself. Now with any restoration video, I know there are lots of comments about, oh my, I can't believe you did that, or oh, you should have done this. And there are lots of things like that that I've heard over the years. Go ahead and throw those in the comments down below. I do read through all of them. Um, occasionally something comes up that I haven't heard before, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> so thank you to everyone for watching. I do want to say a massive thank you to the patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, everyone who's clicked that join button. Uh, you really are supporting this channel and keeping us going. Without patrons and members, this channel would not exist. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, the link to patreon.com is down below, as well as you can click that join button at any time and become a member here on the channel. So I think that'll about do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. This was a very basic and simple restoration. And you could kind of say that it's a plain restoration. Members here in the people, Jan, Jan, blah, blah, blah.